Hey, what's going on, folks? It's Tommy with ccdblog.com, New York Comic Con 2014, and we are here with Ken Knudsen. Ah, oh. uh, just joking. It's Ken Knudsen. How's it going, guys? Friend of ours, friend of the blog, friend of Sketch Lottery. And uh, so, what do you do? What do you got going on, Ken? Tell us a little bit of your, tell us a little bit of your artwork and talk about it. Well, the main thing for me is uh, I love comics. So after college, I went to SVA and I decided I wanted to do my own comic book. So I came up with the idea for the comic published through Slate Labor Graphics. It's called My Monkey's Name Is Jennifer. I've currently got the second graphic novel out, and since I do it all by myself, I'm very slowly working on the third one. And where can we find that online? Uh, Amazon, uh, slgpublishing.com, um, pretty much everywhere. Do you have a site? Uh, I do, but I don't sell the uh, comics from right. Do you sell anything on there? Uh, yeah, you can contact me about uh, doing uh, commission work or any, any kind of stuff like that. Uh, where? Uh, it is kennewtson.blogspot.com. Very cool. And tell us a little about, I like your, I'm a fan of you, and you do a lot of the brush work, ink. Yeah. Tell us how you got started doing that. As you know, I know you probably started doing traditional comic illustration. How did? We, how, why the transition? What was nice is uh, I, I attended School Visual Arts here in Manhattan. Yeah. And one of my favorite teachers was Klaus Jansen and Walt Simonson. Oh wow. Um, along with that, the drawing teachers I took uh, Jack Potter and John Ruggiero. Um One of the big students from Ruggiero's class is uh, John Paul Leon. Okay. Uh, so what they like to do is they're very much, um, particularly Klaus and uh, Ruggieri, they're very much brush guys. Okay. And I would see the technique, you know, with even with a slightly frayed brush, you get like happy little accents. Yeah. Um, so when I first started trying it, it was a disaster. So there was just it was all accidents. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so I was like, let me go back to the, the Crow Cool uh, pen. But you know, I really wanted to make an effort to learn it. So for I would say about three months. All I would do is practice drawing with a brush. Not comic book stuff, not illustration, just random drawing to just get more, to get more comfortable with it. Yeah. Still live, uh, whatever's in front of me. Drawing. Um, so, do you, I'm sorry, continue. So now what I like to do is, um, one of John Ruggieri's big classes for me was drawing location in the city. So we go to different spots, we draw, and actually started making prints of some of that stuff. I've seen a lot of this stuff and it's really cool. Like that's Union Square. These are people in uh, these are people like in Starbucks, and uh, my favorites are the trains. Oh wow, this is amazing! I never seen this before. So what I started doing was this with a brush and ink. So you bring a bottle of ink on the train and sit with a bottle of ink. Show me ink. Let's show, show the camera. Show what do you what do you got? So I got this. You're about to have an accident. Spill it all over yourself Spill on the train. Spill it all over. You know? uh, well, they're mostly like the subways and stuff, so I'll all be right. sitting on the platform. Okay, okay. But I've spilled this before. And so and now, I've never seen you, any of your work with an actual pen, you know. I only know of you doing this stuff. I love it. And is that all you do? Do you ever go back and um, do no, pen work, pencil no work, nothing? All right. So this is your forte. But uh, what I like to do is I like to incorporate a little bit of color. So I have my yeah. oil bars here. Oh, okay. And I'm starting to get less awful with computer coloring. Oh, so you do, you scan this stuff in and color it? Yeah, yeah, like I did it with um, <clears throat> this guy here. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess, yeah. And because it's a like, comical action movie, Petty Cab Driver, yeah. the color palette I chose was from uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool, this is a commission piece, right? Tell us about the Boba Fett. Uh, so I was at uh, the Long Island Eternal Con this year. So you know, things were going on pretty well Sunday. And uh, this couple came over, they were talking to me. And they said, you know, we really like uh, the woman liked a Boba Fett drawing I'd done. The guy liked a uh, quick ink drawing I'd done a Wolverine. And it turned out, I look at the guy's badge. I'm like, oh, that's great news to hear from my favorite Cooper brother. It was Adam Cooper. Oh, wow. Um, I loved uh, the run he did on Hulk like, more than anything. Oh wow, that, really? That's yeah. your pinnacle? For, right. for my, my stuff for him, yeah. Oh wow. Uh, I'm a big Peter David fan, too. So that's like one-two punch. Cool, man. So uh, his wife came back, she's like, we'd like to commission for a drawing. I'm like, really? Even though he knows real yeah. artists? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're a real uh, artist. You're yeah. a real artist. But uh, she's like, he liked the oil bar stuff, so we settled on Boba Fett. So cool, I'm like, man. I'm going to draw the badass scene where him, uh, Lando, and you got Han and Carbonite. Very cool. I like the black and white version. Nice. I've nice. seen the black and white, you know, before you... You like the colors it. awful, yeah. What? You like the colors No, awful. I just like the, you know, I... Whatever, I'm giving you a compliment, you bastard. 
All right, cool, man. So we can find you on the internet. You guys have all the information. Follow Ken. He's a great guy and a great artist. Thank you, sir. Good luck to you. Thank you, sir. Nice to know you.